Oh my God, look at this fantastic feast. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Tony Rigatoni. I'm glad you made it this far. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you for making the drive, Daddy and uh, Tina. Yeah, okay. Uh, may uh, you all rest in peace and have a nice sleep tonight. The turkey makes you sleep well. I'm not very good at toasting, so um, hopefully we can get through this dinner without killing each other. Okay? All right. Cheers. Bonnie, sister, that was such a lovely toast. Cheers. Oh, this is yours? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did I tell you I have a mole on my back? Could be just a mole. Could be basil cell. God forbid. Oh, you basil cell? No. Honestly, I bet it's a lot worse. I give you six months to a year. You know, Lisa, I know you're my sister, but just be less comfortable, okay? Especially with me. Just be less comfortable. Hey, Ma and Lisa, just get along, all right? Grandpa's trying to say grace for crying out loud. Give him a chance. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Dad, that's the Lord's prayer. All right, you got the wrong one. We want to we say grace with the J. Hey, Ma, he can't hear you. Okay, right. Uh, give us this day our daily bread. I just want to know like one thing. Who made this turkey? It looks incredible. <laughs> it's too pretty to eat, right, Daddy? <laughs> I brought my paints. I'm going to paint it. <laughs> Wee. He's not your daddy, all right? He's your husband. About 30 years your senior, but uh, you're betrothed, all right? So why don't you start acting like it? Boots. <laughs> I just got my lips done, so it's hard to hold in liquids. It's a family dinner. Put some clothes on. Massive buzzkill over here. <laughs> I'm vegan. Yeah, I've been vegan for like a month, so. <laughs> Tell him, daddy. Stop calling him that. I think I'm gonna be sick. She's so disturbing. Daddy, wake up. Wake, wake up, Dad. Dad, wake up! <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Silly me. Anybody got any eggnog? Or some scotch? I'm just sorry you can't eat it, Grandma Tina. Maybe tell me about your dietary restrictions before you and my uh, grandpa drive 3,000 miles from New Jersey. <laughs> Can you not call me Grandma? We're the same age. Thanks, bye. That's not Tony's problem, okay? Because technically, you are his grandmother. Well, at least we agree on something. <laughs> you know what, Lisa? I love you. Did you talk to Daddy about his financials? All right, I don't know if there's a prenup situation going on here, but I guarantee this Tina chick's gonna bleed him dry by Christmas. All right, so. <laughs> don't you worry, a pretty little two-tone Bob. Because before Daddy and her got married, I had him sign over his financials to us, but he thought he was signing some kind of dry cleaning permission slip or something. So if they get divorced, she gets nothing. <laughs> Hi. But don't worry, I still get 60% of his estate because I'm the executrix. That's the female version of the executor. But you wouldn't know that because you didn't go to law school. That's it. Hey, this is cooking with Tony Rigatoni. Yeah, I know, I'm a joke, but the food, it's for real. Come on, let's watch. Now you guys at home is gonna find out how my grandson Tony here made this. It's a turkey. All right, let's get started. All right, so you're going to take the Jiffy mix. You're going to take one egg and a third a cup of milk. You're going to mix that together. Real simple, like, right? And this is for the cornbread dressing. Then I put a little parchment paper in a pan. I put the cornbread batter right in the pan. And in the oven, it goes at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Pop it out. Boom. It's ready to go. All right, this is a bouquet garni. It has thyme, rosemary, and parsley. How you do it, I'm showing you. Just look at the screen. You see? You wind the twine around it. Then you trim it and you cut it in the same place that the initial twine was there. Boom. 
So now I'm going to make my stock. I got my carrot. I got my onion. I got my scallions. I got my half of a chicken. All right. And then I got a little bit of wing. Now I'm going to put some spices in there. I got some cinnamon. I got some star anise. I got some black cardamom and coriander. But before I put my meat in the water, I want to put some color on it. That's half a cup of wine, a tablespoon of salt. And I put all the veg I just showed you in the water. Now I'm searing off this bird. All right. Because this is for the stuffing. Always get color on your meat before you make a stock. All right, now I'm going to break up the cornbread. It's nice and cooled down. Then this is the veg for my actual stuffing. I'm going to saute this. So I'm going to show you how to clean a leek because, you know, not a lot of people know how to clean leeks. You want to look for dirt on the outer bottom layer. And then I use the tops too because the green of the veg, the better your stuffing is going to taste. That's the celery. That's the carrot. A little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, of course, the basics. You're going to toss that together. And then what you're going to do is you want to saute it. Get some color on there. I'm going to chop up some shallots, all right? And I'm going to take a little bit of roasted garlic. That's the stock. Look how freaking beautiful that is. I'm going to deglaze with that liquid right there. So all of these flavors are going together. There's the roasted garlic, guys. I'm putting the roasted garlic in with the shallots, all right? All right, so my veg is done being sautéed. I'm going to add that to the shallots and the roasted garlic. I'm going to wait for that chicken to cool. Then I'm going to take a half pound of pork. I'm going to pick the chicken. The pork's going in the stock. The cooked chicken's going in the stock. That's a little bit of salt. My cornbread's going in the stock. My veg, the raw pork. Then that's about a cup and a half of stock. All right, you want it wetter? Add more stock. Then it's done. That's it. Now for the fiesta de resistance. We're going to debone this freaking bird, guys. Let's freaking go. All right, so now you're going to debone this thing. You want to start with the breast. Right there, I go one incision on either side of the breastplate, and I'm taking my knife close to the bone, and I just follow the bone all the way down. And what I'm doing right here is I'm looking for where the collarbone connects, all right? I just made an incision, and then I'm taking the thigh, and I'm working on the back here. Just want to remove the carcass completely. And I also did a bone broth with all these bones, but I didn't include it. Maybe I'll include it in another video. Just basically work yourself around. And I'm taking the wings and I roast the wings. All right. And now what I'm doing is that uh, small bone next to the wing. And the last to do are the legs. These are a little bit more complicated. You just take a plier and pull the tendons out. And I'm showing you the back side. You want to try to keep the skin without as many holes as you can. I had holes, but I hid them. You know, then I'm removing the tendons here. And now we're going to stuff it. And that's basically it. You stuff it and you start to kind of tie it off with twine. And it comes together really nicely, as you can see. And the turkey stays very moist because there's a lot of fat in that pork. All right. Pork is always going to give you a wonderful experience in your mouth. And there we go. Look at it. It's like a big uh, glow worm. Here is I'm actually taking the, the string or the twine and I'm going under each little rivet and take the string over it again so it, it gets tighter as you go down the line. And that's essential because it keeps the torsion tight and it's gonna keep your mold really nicely visually appealing. Put it in the oven at 375 for about three and a half hours. Turkey is cooked at 160. And so I am putting a little bit of rosemary in the back like I said, it cooks at 160. I like to temp it about an hour and a half in. It was 93 right there. So hour and a half later, it was about 158 and it climbs 10 to 15 degrees. Hit the carryover temperature. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that terrine. Oh my God. It's actually a galantine, which is a hot terrine, but I'm getting all food nerdy right now. You know, forget about it. Look at it. It's done. Happy Thanksgiving guys from my family to yours. And God bless.